Hello, Buns. Welcome back to Cinnabun Sundays, a weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. I'm Morgan, Cinnabun's Bun Mom, and today we are doing a very in-depth grooming video. Now, if you've been following our channel, you'll know that we actually have a grooming video that already is on our channel, but that's really a very like basic how to start, why we groom, all of those. And today we're going to be getting into the nitty gritty stuff. We're going to be talking about trimming nails. I'm going to be giving you all of my best tips for squirmy buns, how to do the underbelly, all of the things that are a little bit more just not as cut and dry, if you will. So since I already have a bigger video already on my channel, let's just get into this video right now. You're gonna notice right away that Cinnabon here is on a table. That is tip number one for me. If you have a bunny that does not like to be groomed, which is about 95% of bunnies, put them on a table. Come here, baby. It just makes them feel a little less like they can run away. And if your bunny tries to jump off the table, try a higher surface. Now, right underneath Cinnabon, you're gonna see that we have a towel laid out, and that's just because bunnies have fur on their feet. You can see here, all fluff, no padding. So the towel just gives her a little bit of friction so she's not absolutely terrified during this entire thing. As far as tools, both of these products I got on Amazon. These are nail trimmers, and yeah, I think that they are just for like a cat or a small animal, I'll link them below. And this is our tried and true, the Fur Buster Comb. It is the best brush hands down, it's what you're gonna wanna use. You should groom your bunny about once a week unless they're molting, and if they're molting, you need to brush them every single day. Now these weekly groomings, they do not need to be long, just about 10 minutes or so. It's really just to keep that fur from being digested. Again, I talk a lot more about this in our overall like grooming video. But if you have a good grooming habit with your bunny, then you're just going to eliminate any of that chance of them digesting too much fur and getting hairballs. Because like I've talked about on our channel before, bunnies cannot regurgitate, they can't throw up. So any fur that gets into their tummy, it stays there. If your bunny is super squirmy while you're grooming them, notice how I have my hand on her. You can pull them in tightly to your chest without squeezing them, but just giving them less space to run and squirm. I'm lucky and Cinnabon's pretty chill, so I don't need to do that as much, but if you have a bun that likes to kick and scratch, just hold them in firmly. Okay, so once you have brushed their whole back and you feel pretty good about the fur, it's okay, you're gonna have to get their underbelly, which is the part that most bunnies hate. So this is what you're gonna do. You're going to grab your bunny, one hand under their tummy, one hand under their booty, come here baby, and you're gonna flip them so they're sitting on their butt like this. And you're gonna hold them nice and tight. She is such a good girl. You wanna hold them up against your chest and you wanna make sure that their head is not back. If you put a bunny all the way on its back, they can be tranced, which pretty much sends them into paralysis, which is very scary for them. So notice how I'm holding her really tightly right here to my chest. She can't squirm, she can't move. And we're just getting all of these mats that are underneath her tummy. What a good girl you are. I know you hate this so much. Just think of all the treats you're gonna get. You just gotta hold them nice and tight, let them know that they are supported, and then you can brush their feet. Good girl. If you have a bunny who just absolutely will not do that when you're holding them yourself, you can get somebody in your house, maybe a roommate, your boyfriend, your mom, your dad, your best friend, your sister, whatever. Hi, baby. She's upset. Um, and you can have somebody hold them for you as well and just hold them nice and tightly. But you might be surprised. Maybe try it out with your bun just to see. You may be surprised to see how they hold up. So much fur. Here's my hand. So much fur. So once you have all of your bunny fur ready to go, it is time, oh my gosh, I have to dig her things out. It's time to do the nails. And, oh, hi baby. 
And for our nails, I usually have to have help with this. So I'll have Bryant hold Cinnabon. You can come here. Hold under her butt. Hand, hand under her tummy. Yeah, good job, but don't lean her all the way back. Good job, good job. Let me pause to go. So what we're gonna do is we are going to trim her nails. Okay, so nails are so scary. I'll be honest, I waited until Cinnabon was around eight months old to start doing it myself. I always just had our vet do it. But I promise you, it seems way scarier than it is. The most important thing here is you don't want to trim too much nail because there are veins in the nails that can bleed. So you really just wanna trim off the really sharp pointy ends. If you're lucky and your bunny has clear nails, you'll actually be able to see where that vein stops, but sadly Cinnabon's nails are black, so I just kind of have to guess. But when I say guessing, that really just means that I cut off the super sharp part. Pull back the fur on their toes so you can do it quickly, and I promise you if you cut it appropriately and don't cut too deep, it will not hurt your bunny a bit. I trim her nails about every six to eight weeks, but it really is just to trim their nails intuitively. Whenever you feel like their nails are too long, like when they put their paws on you and it scratches or you can just see their nails, that means it's time for a trim. Make sure to talk to your bunny the entire time. Let them know it's okay and it will be over before you know it. So as you can see from that, Cinnabon does not love getting her nails done. So it's just so much more helpful for me to have somebody hold onto her nice and tightly. But as you can see, she's over it. She's tired of me grooming her, so she's grooming herself. So it's time to put this little munchkin on the ground and give her some treats. Okay, so when I'm done grooming Cinnabon, I always, always, always give her some treats. Come here, baby, come here. So she has learned that when she is done being held, when she's done being groomed, she gets a treat. And I think that's one of the only things that makes this bearable for her. It's also helpful, because as you can see right here, I'm hand feeding her, and it's just a good reminder that being touched by me is not all bad. So Buns, I hope that this video was useful, was helpful. Please, please, please comment below if you have any extra questions, hi baby. And we will see you next week with another Cinnabon Sunday. Oh, oh no, Cinnabon. And if you've made it to this part in the video, I'm, I'm feeling a little like a surprise this week, if you know what I'm saying. So stay tuned for that. Bye, buns.